Real quick, I'm currently taking part in Bungie's annual charity event to raise money for kids and those in need. Click the link in the description to donate and receive exclusive rewards in game like this, 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 or this. We're currently in the top 15 in the world right now for money raised as a community, and if you'd like to take part in making a difference, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. The dawning 2021 event is finally upon us, and with it comes pretty much the exact same experience that we've had the last few years, except with a few added quality of life improvements sprinkled in throughout. I know there's going to be a lot of people though looking for dawning guides, especially with players returning to the game in order to be ready for Witch Queen, so we're going to be covering the event nonetheless, despite it being pretty samey since it first came out, so I hope you guys do enjoy. Before we jump into it though, like the video if you enjoy the content today as it really helps me out a lot, and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos from the channel. And with all that said, let's jump into this. Now first things first, boot up Destiny, load into the tower, and speak with Ava Levante to start the event. She'll give you what's called the Holiday Oven, and this will reside in your quest tab and will be the centerpiece for you during the entire event. Basically, this event revolves around getting ingredients, baking cookies, and giving vendors the cookies that you baked in exchange for loot. Thankfully this dawning, Bungie has given all players in-game access to every single cookie recipe and ingredient inside the oven once you complete the introductory quest, so you won't need some clickbaity recipe guide to learn how to make this stuff, it's all going to be there for you in-game. Now to complete the introductory quest, you're going to follow a pretty straightforward set of quest steps. Bake a Gallardoodle with the oven, give it to Zavala, Speak with Ava again, and she'll give you a currency called Dawning Spirit, and with that currency, you can buy a Dawning Upgrade. Now, these upgrades can range from pretty small things like extra ingredients when you complete a bounty, to pretty big ones like getting extra perk slots in any Dawning weapon that you earn. The first upgrade will allow you to earn a boon of friendship once per day by logging on, and it's a consumable that, when activated, gives a gift to your fire team members whenever you complete an activity. Now once this quest is done, your oven should be completely open. If you didn't see any previous cookies or any previous ingredients and how to get them, you will see them now when everything that you will need to know is going to be right inside that oven for baking cookies for all of the vendors. Now once this upgrade is bought and once you complete this introductory quest, you're going to receive two Two separate quests, one for Saint-14 and one for Zavala. Saint-14's quest gives the new stasis sword, so let's focus on that one first. So starting off with the Pigeon Provides quest, you're going to talk with Saint-14 and you'll be told to track down an elixir recipe in the Eventide Ruins. So just fast travel to the location that I go to on Europa and follow the path that I take as it's in the same location as the first season of the Splicer mission. After this, you're going to be told to get pure ether extract, harpy eggs, and glacial starboard. Now the way I did this was just by going to the Lost Sector in the Cadmus Ridge, as that area literally has everything you need. You'll get your pure ether extract by opening the end chest, harpy eggs by killing the harpies, and glacial starwort spawns all over the sector, and you can find these easily by slapping on the ghost mod to highlight your resources. Just complete the Lost Sector and walk out and back in to reload the instance, and this took me only 3 times to do before I was done with the quest step. Kill the Harpies, open the end chest, pick up any resources that you see along the way, and you'll be done. Now once this step is done, you're going to be told to collect Dawning Spirit. Now this is one of the main currencies of the event as it's used to buy Dawning upgrades and focus farm Dawning weapons. So to get your hands on Dawning Spirit, you can get them from the Dawning Triumphs page, donning bounties, or just baking and delivering cookies to NPCs. Lucky for me, I have the Starfarer donning ship from last year's event, which when upgraded will give you the ability to get donning spirit just by earning ingredients, so I AFK'd the Thrallway and the Shattered Throne for a few minutes to finish up this step, but I'd imagine that bounties, triumphs, cookies are pretty easy and pretty fast to get done anyways, and if you don't have this ship, you should be able to pick it up from Ava Levante. I'm not sure if there is a quest associated with it or if you have to do something beforehand, as I did earn this from last year, but new players should still be able to earn this, I just can't see it for myself because I already have it, but it should be at Ava Levante. 
Now, after you're done collecting your dawning spirit, whether that be through AFKing, delivering cookies, doing bounties, etc., you'll be told to collect etheric spiral from nodes and chests on the Tangled Shore, and to also buy some Kells dough from Spider. So load up the Tangled Shore, talk with Spider for the Kells dough, then equip a resource or chest mod on your ghost if you haven't already, then scour the Tangled Shore for etheric spiral. It only took me about two minutes for this step, as it pretty much spawns everywhere, and that ghost mod is going to show you exactly where it is even if you're pretty far away from it. Now after this you'll see that all of this preparation with Saint was actually him wanting to bake cookies for the fallen refugees that we got in Season of the Splicer. So you'll end up loading up the Elixni quarters in the helm and just talk to the fallen there and give them their treats for the final quest step. The fallen that I talked to were the ones that were directly in the middle and to the right of the spawn. That's pretty much where you're going to find the ones that you need to talk to. After you talk to 10 of them, you're going to be done and talk with Saint 14 at the tower, then talk with Ava after that, and then you'll receive a static roll of the new stasis sword, which is actually going to come with the new unique perk, which only this weapon can get, which is pretty dope. That's going to be it for Saint 14's quest, so let's move on to the second quest, which is Zavala's. First talk with Zavala to get the Rite of Dawning quest, then head to the EDZ to find Festive Intel at Firebase Hades. Load into the Winding Cove landing zone, and then follow me to the Intel. After picking it up, you'll be told to kill Cabal for the Ritual Schematics and recover a cup inside the Pathfinder's Crash Law Sector. So head into that Law Sector, you should see it right here on the map, and you should be able to get all of your Cabal kills that you need on top of opening the end chest to complete the step for getting the cup. After this, you'll be told to run the Arms Dealer Strike, so just load up your map, select the strike, then run it as normal. After killing the boss at the end of the strike, you'll be told that you need to bake 3 dark chocolate motes for the drifter, which is going to require the void kills ingredient, so just get kills with a void weapon, and taken kills as an ingredient, so just kill taken, as well as donning essence to actually make these cookies. And if you don't know, essence is gotten through doing pretty much any activity in the game. Crucible, Strikes, Vanguard, Seasonal Content, Legend Lost Sectors, you name it, it probably gives Essence when you complete it. If you're doing solo though, you could probably find an easy Legend Lost Sector to farm, you could do public events, you could also do Expunge if that's your thing. Uh, for me personally, I had a friend and we ended up using the Wrathborn Hunt method, which still works to this day. For those of you guys that have never done it, have a friend load up the Savic Wrathborn Hunt via the lure, and once you two are inside the hunt, have your friend wait outside so that they don't get credit for the boss kill, then you yourself head inside the cave, kill the Wrathborn, once the Wrathborn is dead, you and your friend will both get the loot, and in this case it's the essence that you're looking for, and your friend won't have to reset his lure as a result because he himself wasn't near the Wrathborn whenever it died, so you guys can load right back out, load right back in, and just keep farming it over over and over and over again. Of course, if you're taking your time like a sane person, just play the game normally and you'll get plenty of essence, but I figured I'd throw in those few methods right there if you are looking to get this done very fast. Now, once these cookies have been baked and delivered to the Drifter, you'll talk to Zavala once more, and then you'll be told to do the Proving Ground Strike. Go to Nessus, select the strike, do strike, then talk to Zavala again, and you're finally done. Just kidding, talk to Ava again, and then you're finally done. So now that we've been over the two main quests, how to farm Dawning Spirit and how to farm Dawning Essence, what's left to do? Well, focus farming the Dawning weapons, of course. When turning in cookies to your vendor of choice, you'll receive a plethora of rewards in return, but most importantly, you'll receive a gift in return loot box. Now you can actually open this loot box if you'd like to get things like upgrade materials, miscellaneous rewards, and dawning loot, but you can also take this box to Ava Levante, and with a little bit of dawning spirit, you can actually focus farm which dawning weapon you want out of a loot pool of two as opposed to all four of them. You have the Unity Gift, which drops the Avalanche Machine Gun or the Glacial Clasm Fusion Rifle, and the Edge Gift, which drops the new Stasis Zephyr Sword or the Cold Front SMG. 
Of course, remember that you might want to get your donning upgrades first to make the god roll hunting process much easier, but that's pretty much it for the event. Of course though, do remember that you have weekly bounties at Ava Levante to do on all characters if you're trying to maximize your bright dust count, and that combined with seasonal challenges if you have yet to finish them, you can get a massive boost of bright dust and you can buy the donning ornaments in the Eververse for free. Remember to always keep checking the Eververse store as well, as during the 30th anniversary event, Bungie has been giving players 700 free bright dust there as well for just logging on during the week and claiming it. This is the second week in a row, and I'd imagine that it's going to be going for a little bit longer than that probably another week or two so make sure that you're looking at the eververse outside of that though i think that's going to do it for today's video that's pretty much everything there is to know slash do in the dawning for 2021 and for those wondering i'll have a separate video out tomorrow that'll be covering the dawning weapons and their god rolls as we ended up getting one new weapon this update but the old weapons have some new perks that are on them which can be quite interesting Anyways, guys, that's going to pretty much do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed the guide today. Whether you're a new player, whether you're a veteran player, or just someone that's looking for a quick refresher on how the event works, I definitely appreciate your support and watching all the way to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.